Hi guys, it's Ben here, and this transfer window has already been completely unbearable, but just as we thought it couldn't get any worse, the Philip Coutinho to Barcelona rumours are actually gathering pace. So Sky have today reported that Barcelona are confident of signing the Brazilian if they bid 89 million pounds. That's 100 million euros for the player that just signed the new five year deal in January. They've already had a 72 million pound offer turned down by the Reds who are in no position in which they need to sell. Obviously Neymar plays a big part in this. Are they trying to appease him? Are they trying to replace him? We don't know either way. Catalan radio station RAC1 are even saying that Coutinho has agreed personal terms with Barcelona. Apparently some Barcelona representatives went to London yesterday to tie things up with Coutinho's team and now they just need to get Liverpool to agree on a fee. 100 million euros seems to be the one flying around. That's pretty much the same as what United paid for Pogba last summer. I think everyone would agree, bar one or two percent maybe, of Liverpool fans, that this is just a no-brainer. We cannot afford to lose this footballer. Even at 120 million, I still think it's a no. This is not the summer that we can afford to let this guy go. We're not prepared for this. Next summer, maybe. Maybe if we get another full year out of him, and if he does want the move, then I can maybe come to terms with it. We shouldn't be looking at selling players anyway, but sometimes when Barcelona and Real Madrid come in, you have to hold your hands up and say, look, especially these South American players, their dream is to play for one of these clubs. Coutinho is mates with Neymar, he's mates with Suarez. He'd love it there, I'm sure. But this year is not the year for that to happen. Liverpool do need to stand firm. So you are going to say, and I've said this, it's very easy for me to say that, when we're here calling for Van Dijk and Keita to kick up a fuss at their clubs and leave. And yeah, I'm a hypocrite. We're all hypocrites. We cannot let Coutinho lead this club. We need to try and force the issue with Cato and Van Dijk. It's very hypocritical. It's very difficult. But what else can you be as a football fan? We need to keep our best players. This is Klopp's second summer in charge. So this is this pretty much the squad and for this window is going to be a real litmus test as to how successful this manager is at Liverpool and how he's going to be. I think the same can be said for Mourinho at Manchester United and Guardiola at City. Even Conte at Chelsea will have a big test this year with European football. This is where the real test begins. I just don't think there's any way we can get away with selling Coutinho on the pitch. I don't think the players would have such belief. He is capable of absolutely anything. There's not a more talented player in our squad. There aren't many more talented players in the league. I think if you can get a fully fit season out of him, and I think if we'd have got this last season, we may well have gone on to win the league or, or to be very close. Those first three months of the season, he was unplayable. He was the best player in the league up until November. And then the injury came, and then once he came back, didn't quite regain his momentum until late on in the campaign, around April sort of time. But in those times, in those months, he was unplayable. He was up there with Hazard. He was up there with Alexis Sanchez. Is he necessarily as good as those players? No, but his level can reach those sort of heights. And I think this season, he may well be as good as those players. I think he could easily be the player of the season. And he is the one player of anyone in our squad that's gonna fire us the Premier League title if anyone is. Now, our stance, of course, has not changed. He's not for sale and look, that's, that's a no-brainer. I think even if £120 million comes in, that still has to be a no-brainer. He's going to have the best season of his career this season. I think that is, I'm very confident in that. He's just got to stay fit. He's going to drop into midfield, I think. He's going to have Mane on one side, Salah the other. He's going to have Firmino or Sturridge up front. He's going to have a good midfield. He may have Naby Keita with him. It's just a dream team if we can get Keita in. That front six is just frightening. Coutinho needs to be a part of it. Now, how much of this is just Barcelona pulling strings, trying to appease Neymar? We're trying to sign your mate Coutinho. How much of it is that? Or is there a genuine want for him this summer? Are they just planting the seeds now for a move next summer? Are they just putting it in the player's head? Are they trying to turn his head and make him think, yep, I want to go for Barcelona? Maybe. And do you know what? If you told me now Coutinho will join Barcelona next summer, I don't think there's much I can really say about that. I think the player will be 26 by then. It's, it's a Van Dijk situation. What, when do you want to get your big move? And it would be a huge move. It'd be almost a world record fee. By that time, maybe not if Mbappé moves in the meantime. But it's going to be a huge move. He's going to get huge money. He's going to be a star, the Brazilian star in Barcelona's team. How can you take that away from him? He would have given us more than five years at that point, and a lot of those years would have been when he was desired by the likes of Barcelona and other big clubs that have been sniffing around him for a long time. I obviously want Coutinho to stay at Liverpool forever until he retires. 
He's our best player. I, I don't want us to be a selling club. I would never say that. We're Liverpool. We're one of the most established clubs in Europe. We shouldn't be looking to sell players. And I'm devastated that we sold Sterling and Suarez and everyone else. But when a player's head's turned, the player's head's turned. Same of Cater, same of Van Dijk. The bookies have got it 50-50 that he goes to Barca or he stays. I want to say that my head's telling me he will stay. My heart certainly is. But this is just not something I was ready for this summer. Please. Don't sell Coutinho. Obviously, the biggest incoming potential transfer this summer is either Virgil van Dijk or Naby Keita. Let's just talk about both of those briefly. So Naby Keita, Ralph Rangnick today has come out and said that a whole village in Guinea has turned his head. Rangnick is Leipzig's sporting director. I don't know why he's saying this here. Doesn't make him sound like a great human being. Now, Ed Ahrens in The Guardian is saying that Cater's representatives have spoken to the club today about this situation. And there has been a bit of confusion as to whether Cater's team has met with Klopp earlier this week. Ed Ahrens seemed to think that they did. So again, loads of information that just completely opposes each other. This isn't just stuff in Germany saying one thing, stuff in Guinea saying another. It's reliable journalists in England that are all disagreeing with each other. Who knows what to believe in this situation, but it still rumbles on. There's just quotes seem to be coming out from all parties all the time about this, especially the Leipzig hierarchy. We're still nowhere near knowing which way this is going. Let's hope he ends up at Liverpool. Virgil van Dijk seems to be the more likely one according to the bookies and the papers. He still wants to move. He's considering a transfer request. He's already training alone and kick up a bit of a fuss maybe. The Express is saying that he's trying to force a move and Klopp still wants him. Sky Sports seem to think that it is likely he will be a Liverpool player by the time the window shuts. Still more uncertainty than I'd have hoped for. This was supposed to be the week when everything moved. Just like last week was, just like the week before was, we don't know when we're going to get any answers. We're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to keep being patient, as horrible as that is. Let's hope all three of these go our way. Leave a comment with which two you care the most about. Coutinho, Cater, Van Dijk. If you had to sacrifice one of those, which one would it be? Let me know down below. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials. It's Ben Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.